Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create motion detection program using OpenCV Python. So first of all, let me show you that what is the final output that you can expect from this video. So let me run this program. Okay, so now here you can see that in the background there is nothing present. But if I move my hand here, you can see that there are uh, two green rectangles and this is even capable of uh, motion detection of moving objects let's say that i throw this notebook it was able to uh, see the movement let me throw that again here you can see the motion was there even if i throw a smaller object like this small mobile it was able to capture that motion also now let me close this program okay so now you saw that what motion detection program I was talking about. So this is what we'll be creating in this video. So let us talk about the requirement of this program. So obviously you need Python to be installed first. So if you haven't installed Python yet, then I'll provide a link below to how to properly install and fix everything so that your Python program runs just fine. And now we also need a external package to be installed which is called OpenCV Python and for that what you need to do is you need to open the command prompt and simply write pip install um, OpenCV uh, OpenCV uh, Python okay write this press enter and this package will be installed for you for me this package is already installed so let's quickly jump to our editor so that we can start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll import our required library, which is CV2 and time. Now the next thing that we'll do is we'll uh, take the data from our webcam using the video capture method of OpenCV. Okay, so let's create this video variable and then what we'll do is we'll simply write CV2 dot video capture. It should be video uh, capture. Make sure that this V and this C is capital and we have to write zero here because we are using the zero channel which is for webcam. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll create a while true loop or an infinite loop because we are extracting a video. And what is a video? A video is the continuous moving or a slideshow of images. I have explained all these things in our previous video of OpenCV. For all those who are new here, this video is a part of a OpenCV project series where we have discussed a lot of things from face detection using the webcam to using the mobile camera for face detection and using an actual Wi-Fi cam that you can mount on a robot or anything. We have done all that in that uh, OpenCV playlist. The link will be provided below if you want to check that out. So let's move on with this. So what we'll do is we'll create two variables, check and uh, frame, and then we'll simply do a uh, video dot tree. Okay. So we are reading the data that is extracted by this video capture method. Okay. Okay. So then we'll convert this uh, extracted image into grayscale. But why we are converting this into grayscale? So we are doing this because we want to increase the accuracy of the feature detection. Okay. Okay, so we are using this CVT color method and these are its two parameters. First is the frame or the image that we want to convert in grayscale and then this CV2.color BGR to gray. BGR means blue, green, red and to gray. Now, I guess this is pretty much understood here. Okay, okay. so now what we'll do is we'll uh, blur this image. Okay, now blurring this image image will smoothen the image and the object detection or the motion of the object will be much easier okay so we are using the gaussian method here so gaussian uh, blur is what we are using okay so what we'll do is we'll create an if statement so that we can check whether the frame coming is the first frame or not 
Now, why are we doing this? We are doing this because we want the first frame as our reference frame. Now, what does physics say about motion? Now, motion is identified from a reference point. Now, let me explain this with an example. Let's say that you are sitting in a train. For you, the train the trees are moving but they are not actually moving they are still but as you are moving from your reference point the trees are moving right this is what motion means it means from a reference point so we are fixing the first frame as our reference frame and then if any change happens from the uh, reference frame we can say that the motion is there right i guess you got my point here so uh, if first frame now we also need to create a first frame variable so what we'll do is we'll create a first frame variable and we'll simply write none here okay so if the first frame variable is uh, none which is true in the first case uh, we'll write first frame is equal to the grayscale image. The first image will be stored as the first frame that will come from our webcam and which is converted into grayscale and then the Gaussian blur is done is saved into this first frame variable as the reference uh, point or the reference frame. Okay, then we'll simply write continue because we want our uh, while true loop to run again. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll use the uh, absolute difference method of OpenCV to find the difference between the frames. Okay, so let's create a delta frame variable and then we'll do cv2 dot absolute difference and then the two parameters that we'll provide are the first frame and the gray image. Okay, so first frame is compared to the frames that are coming. The reference frame is compared to the frames that are coming to see whether there is a difference or not. Okay, now we need to uh, set a threshold, a threshold or a limit up to which we want the motion to be detected. We don't want the noises to be detected as motion, right? So we'll create a threshold frame variable and we'll do cv2 dot uh, threshold not frame simply threshold and it has a few parameters first is the delta frame second is the intensity third is the color shade which is white in this case and then the object cv2 dot thresh binary thresh binary okay and since it is a tuple uh, we need to select the first element okay so the first element okay so now we also need to apply one more layer of smoothening so what we'll do is we'll create the same variable threshold frame is equal to cv2 dot dilate uh, dilate Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to apply one more smoothening uh, function here or one or, or one more smoothening step. So we'll write the threshold frame variable same and then we'll use cv2 dot dilate and it accepts three parameters. First is uh, the threshold frame and second is none. And then the third parameter is the iteration it is iteration so this parameter defines that how accurate your uh, smoothening will be now if you increase this parameter then your program will also capture the noises so make sure that this is low okay so now what we need to do is we need to create the contours so what are contours contours are actually the points at which the motion is happening right so if the frame is still and my hand is moving so the portion of my hand is the contour so now we'll do the contour detection okay so we have used this cv2 dot find contour method and it accepts three parameters. First is the frame. So we have used the copy method to create the copy of that uh, array. 
and then we have used this cv2.rtr external method and the cv2.chain approx simple method to find the contours okay now what we need to do is we need to define that what area what approximate area if the contour size is then we can consider it to be a motion now if we don't define this even a small noise will be considered as a contour and we'll get a very noisy motion detection program so we need to specify the contour width okay okay so as i have said first of all we'll check that what is the area of the contour if it is less than 1000 then we don't consider this as a motion area so we'll simply continue and if it is greater than 1000 units then we'll simply draw a red triangle now i have already explained you that how this red triangle this bounding the triangle uh, function works in opencv but if you are new let me explain this again so this uh, find contour method gives three uh, four values the starting x the starting y and the height and width so we'll provide this to this bounding the triangle because as you know if we know the starting x and y point and the height and width we can clearly draw a red triangle right so we'll use the cv2 dot red triangle method and then the first parameter is the frame the image on which we want to draw the, the triangle the next parameter is the x and y axis the starting x and y axis the next parameter is the color of the frame and then the last parameter is the size of the pen that is uh, selected to draw the red triangle now i have more clearly explained this in our face detection video so if you are confused then you can watch that video the link will be provided below okay so let's move ahead actually we are done with the motion detection part only the uh, display to the user part is left which is pretty simple we need to write just uh, cv2.im show and then the window name which i'll write something random and then the frame that the user will see okay uh, then we'll create a key variable so that we can create the exit criteria for our window we are using kinter window in uh, opencv okay so now if the key uh, is equal to equal to order of q or if we press uh, press the key q then our uh, window will be terminate it or we'll simply break okay now let's press video dot release it should be release and we'll do sim uh, cv2 dot destroy all windows okay so now let me save this and run our program and i don't have a history of running the program in the first go but let's try so let me move aside of my screen so that the background the plain background is considered as the background uh, or the first frame so let's run the program let me save this and let's run the program definitely why not there's an error in the program and the uh, reason for this error is uh, iteration is an invalid keyword okay so, so there is a spelling mistake in here actually it should be iterations it should be iterations and let's try this again uh, okay so the camera was open i saw the white light so uh, again there is an error cv2 has no attribute as rtr external again a simple typo error actually is r e t r external there is a typo in the name okay so again an error weight key is not defined because k should be capital so these type of errors happen a lot with my program okay so this k was capital let me save this and run our program again so let me move aside from our 
okay so the background is clearly captured okay so yeah we got an error again i guess there was a movement in the background because i was uh, disturbing the camera so we got an error and where is that error let me see and uh, okay four were expected but three were given okay okay so we missed an argument here okay so i forgot an argument here we need to specify the height and width also how can we complete a triangle without the height and width so we need to do x plus width x plus width uh, it should be small x plus width comma uh, y plus height okay so let's save this and let me position my camera to the blank screen okay so here you can see that the motion detection is happening my hand is detected as moving and let me throw a mobile here okay so here you can see it was able to detect a moving small uh, object also so let me close this by pressing this q button okay so the program was also exited using this exit method okay so this was it actually this was detailed video of how you can create the motion detection program using open cv pipe and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye